All right, in this video, what I want to do is I want to go over a 3D geometry problem. Some of my students, we just gave this problem, a problem very similar. I've revised it a little bit um, on a mock exam, and some of my kids were having a little bit of trouble. So let's go over this. Um, tennis balls are sold in uh, cylindrical tubes that contain a certain number of balls. The radius of each tennis ball is 3.15 centimeters. And the radius of the tube is 32 millimeters. The length of the tube is 26 centimeters. Okay, so the first thing that sticks out on me there is that, that they put this in millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to change that to centimeters. Sometimes they do a little trick like that. So if you have 32 millimeters, you know, just to go to centimeters, you have to move the decimal post over ones because you're skipping over one space. So it's going to be, you know, 3.2. So this is going to be 3.2 centimeters. That way we're working with the same units. And you don't mess up your answers. I guess you could use millimeters, but they're going to be higher numbers, so I'm just going to use that. Now, it says find the volume of one tennis ball. Okay, well, if you think about it, you know, a tennis ball is obviously three-dimensional, um, but if they look at, you know, the radius, it's 3.15 here. So, you know, just look in your formula booklet. You find the volume of a sphere is, you know, four-thirds um, pi times the radius cubed. Okay, so I'm going to just do volume equals um, four-thirds pi times 3.15 cubed. And all you have to do is enter that into your calculator. So what I would do here, you know, is just, you know, four divided by three, uh, and then just pi, second pi is right there. Um, and, you know, I'll put 3.15 in brackets, uh, 0.15 brackets, and then raise it to the third power. And let's see what we get. We get 130.92. Okay, so remember that you want to go to, to three significant digits. So this is going to be 131 if you round up the nine here. So this is going to be, you know, 131. And then don't forget your label. It's going to be centimeters cubed. Okay, so we're good to go there. Um, now find the number of balls that can fit in a tube. Okay, well, if you think about, you know, if you have a tube of tennis balls here, Okay, what what information do we need? Well, we need the height, okay? And oh, that's a horrible tube. Well, yeah, that's great. Okay, um, so we need the height of this. So it's going to be 26 centimeters, okay? Uh, they tell us this right here, okay? So we the, the trick here is, though, you know, if you look at the whole ball, so, you know, it's three, the radius is 3.15, but, you know, the whole diameter is another 3.15. So the actual amount of space it takes, you know, if you're going to put it into, um, you know, uh, w one of these tubes is 6.3. So, you know, each ball is going to take up 6.3. Okay, boom, another 6.3, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so obviously we just have to do 26 divided by uh, 6.3 and see what we get. Okay, so we'll uh, break out the calculator. We go um, 26 divided by 6.3 and then we, uh, 4.12. Okay, well, obviously you can't fit 0.12 in 6, 9, whatever of a ball in there. So it's going to be, you know, you just go to the nearest whole number. Well, the, the most you can fit in there would be 4. So it's going to be 4 tennis balls. Okay, now you're going to see here that I made a, uh, whoa, whoops. You're going to see here that I made a mistake um, when I was writing this question. It says, calculate the volume of empty space in the tube when the four <laughs> tennis balls. Okay, there's the answer. Um, obviously, I added in a question. I added this question in right here. Oops, whatever. Calculate the volume of the empty space in the tube when four balls have been placed in it. Okay, so what they're saying here is, you know, you're looking at a tube. You know, this drawing is probably going to be absolutely horrendous. Okay, but it has, you know... Um, oh, let's see here, you know, one, two, ooh, wow, I'm making these way too big, two, three, four tennis balls in it, okay, um, you get the picture, see all this empty space, that's what they want us to find, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the volume of the tennis balls here, so we've already found the volume of one, so if there's four of them, we can just do 131, you know, times four, which is four, carry, carry the one. So that'd be 524 centimeters squared, or uh, it's volume, right? Cubed. Okay, so now we just need to find the volume of the whole thing. Well, 
you know, let's look at um, at the radius here. Now, be careful because the radius here is is 3.2 centimeters. So, you know, I'm going to go 3.2 here. Now, all we have to do is look up our formula. It's volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height, okay, for a cylinder. So you just do volume equals pi times, you know, 3.2 squared times 26. Okay, so let's uh, bust that out. And I'll bring out my calculator. Move, cancel. Oops. Okay, so let's let's move this over here so we can see it. Okay, so let's see. So second um, pi, and then three point two squared, and then times uh, twenty six. So times twenty six. Boom. Okay, so eight thirty six point four. Okay, so this is going to be you know eight thirty six point four centimeters cubed. Okay, so now to find the empty space, all we have to do is subtract, you know, so you do 836.4 minus 524, you know, line up the decimal, you do it on your calculator, but I'm just going to do it by hand, 2, 1, 3. Now, remember, you got to put it to three significant figures. Now, this answer is going to be 312, ooh, not 321, 312 centimeters cubed. Now, if you didn't round the first answer and you use this, which would have been like 130, what was it, 130.9 or something, you would have gotten 312.5, which would have rounded to 313. That's acceptable. So either 312 or 313 are acceptable on this answer, um, as per the mark scheme. So anyway, um, th I've seen a lot of questions like this, where you know you have to use some of the formulas, but you, you, they kind of make you think a bit, little bit. So my advice here is maybe you know just draw a picture. I mean, hopefully it's better than mine. This picture is is just just atrocious. I mean, but if you've seen any of my videos, you know that's not my strong suit. So anyway, I will leave you with one more thought for the day. And I came across a video on the internet. Now, this has been around for a long time called First World Problems. Now, we all know this, you know. People, you listen to com people complain about their Facebook status or about their coffee not being good or whatever. Um, I, I found, uh, I came across one on the internet that I thought I would share with you. John here says, having an iPhone 5 is awkward when everyone around you has a 4. Those are big problems, man. Those are big problems. And, and I feel bad for you, John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. With that sad note, and John, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Um, we, I will leave you. Hopefully this helped you out. And let me know if you want me to make you a certain video or something. Um, and... There's my email, so whatever. Maybe someone wanted me to uh, make them a video. Anyway, uh, take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.